Hi everyone welcome back to my channel, today I will explain about Hebe. Hebe, meaning youth or bloom of youth, is the goddess and personification of eternal youth in Greek mythology. She is the daughter of Zeus and Hera and the wife of the Greek hero Hercules. Hebe serves as the cupbearer for the gods and goddesses of Mount Olympus, and she has the gift of restoring youth to mortals. In art, Hebe is depicted as a young virgin, holding a cup and wearing a flower crown or a golden wreath and a garment made up of varying colors. She often has dark hair and sparkling eyes and is sometimes accompanied by an eagle, symbolizing Zeus. Pindar the ancient Greek lyric poet, referred to Hebe as the fairest of all the goddesses in his Nemean Odes, while in the Odyssey, Homer states that she was famed for her alluring ankles. Hebe's Roman counterpart is Juventus. Birth and Family In Hesiod's Theogony, Hebe is listed as the daughter of Zeus and his sister wife Hera, and the sister of Ares, the god of war, and Elithaia, the goddess of childbirth. She was also a half-sister to the Graces, the Fates, and the Hori. After Hebe's birth, the gods fought amongst themselves to give her gifts and honor. Athena and Poseidon gave her toys, while Apollo soothed her with his music. A rarer story of Hebe's birth as Hera becoming pregnant after eating or touching lettuce at a banquet with Apollo. Cupbearer to the gods. Although Hebe was the daughter of the king and queen of the gods, she was given the role of cupbearer to the immortals. Her role is in line with ancient patriarchal customs, where the females in the home assisted with serving guests. She served the deities of Mount Olympus with wine, nectar and ambrosia in golden goblets. In the Iliad, Homer mentions that he be served wine to the gods as they watched the battle between Menelaus and Paris. Hebe's time as cupbearer to the gods came to an end after she experienced a moment of ungracefulness and slipped while serving the gods. Zeus immediately dismissed her from her role and replaced her with the Trojan youth Ganymede, considered the most beautiful mortal by Zeus. Naturally, Hera was angered by her daughter's dismissal and her husband's affection for Ganymede. Annoyed by her anger, Zeus only continued to show his love for the youth by setting Ganymede's image among the stars as Aquarius, the water-bearer. Other sources state that he be stopped being the cupbearer to the gods when she married Hercules. Early on, Hebe was known as Ganymeda, which suggests that this deity was split into two, the male Ganymede, who carried on the job of cupbearer to the gods, while Hebe became a wife to Hercules and a mother to their two sons. Handmaiden to Hera As the daughter of Hera, Hebe also served as her handmaiden, preparing her chariot and harnessing her peacocks whenever they were needed. In Book 5 of the Iliad, Hebe helped her mother prepare her chariot by rolling the wheels, fastening them to their bronze spokes and bolting them on the ends of the iron axle. In various sources and depictions in Greek art, she is found standing beside her mother, ready to obey her orders. Hebe also washed Ares and dressed him in clean robes after he had engaged in a fierce battle against King Diomedes of Argos during the Trojan War. Hebe and Ares then returned to Mount Olympus. Goddess of Youth As the goddess of youth, Hebe had the power to restore youth to mortals. As the goddess of youth, Hebe had the power to restore youth to mortals. The ancient Greeks viewed her as being brave and generous. Philostratus of Lemnos writes that Hebe was the youngest of the gods and the most loved. According to him, Hebe is the reason why the Olympian gods are eternally young. Hebe's power is touched on in a few myths, which are retold in Ovid's. The Greek hero Jason pleaded with his sorceress wife, Medea, to take years off his life and give them to his ailing, elderly father, Aeson, so that he may live longer. Medea refused to do this, not able to face taking years off her husband's life. Instead, 
She told Jason that she would ask Akati for help. Medea and her dragons roamed the earth for nine days, collecting herbs of renewal. She built two altars of green turf, one dedicated to Hecate and the other dedicated to Hebe. She invoked the sorceress and goddess of youth for help. Sure enough, with their help, Medea was able to restore Aeson's youth. Hercules asked his wife to bestow the gift of youth to his dear friend and nephew, Iolaus, so he could take revenge on King Eurystheus for the hardship he had put Hercules, Iolaus and their families through. Hebe agreed and gave Iolaus his youth back, but then swore that she would never use her gift on anyone else. However, Themis, the goddess of justice and divine law, stopped her from making that promise and reminded her of the Theban civil war taking place. Themis prophesied that Caliroe, daughter of the river god Achelous, would beg for Zeus to add the years that Iolaus had lost to her own young son so that they could avenge their father. Hebe's gift would therefore be granted through Zeus' intervention. The gods were not happy that others would be given the gift of youth, and each one put forward someone they had in mind to receive Hebe's gift. Hebe and Hercules after Hercules is accidentally sent a poisoned shirt by his wife, Deonyra, he puts it on, unaware that it had been covered with Hydra's venom. As he was praying to the gods and pouring libations, the heat from the fire caused the poison to spread through his body quickly. After killing his servant Lycus who had delivered the shirt into his hands, he built himself a funeral pyre and laid down on it. The gods watched in horror from Mount Olympus as Hercules burned. Zeus reassured them that as his son, Hercules could not be touched by death and that he would be welcome to Mount Olympus and given immortality. After Hercules' apotheosis, deification, was complete, Zeus and Hera allowed him to marry Hebe, cementing his new position as a god and forever uniting him with immortal youth. Hercules and Hebe's marriage was a sign that Hera had finally gotten over her hatred of Hercules, as he was a reminder of Zeus' infidelity, or at least was not so spiteful towards him as she was before. Hercules and Hebe had two sons together, Alexiares and Aniclitus. The two main areas of worship for Hebe in Greece were Philos and Sicyon, located in the Peloponnese. According to Strabo, 63 BCE to 23 CE, the Greek geographer, they worshipped Hebe as Gia. People prayed to Hebe for forgiveness, and released prisoners left behind their prison chains on trees in sacred groves to pay honor to her. In Philos, the head of Hebe and wreaths of ivy appeared on coins. <laughs>